Hi guys, uh, today we will be continuing our discussion on prediction of change and this time around the object we will be taking is a pentagonal plane, right? Okay, please note down the equation and parallelly we will be noting down the given data also, okay? <clears throat> Draw the projections of a regular pentagon of 25 mm cells. So it's a regular pentagon having 5 sides, each of them equal to 25 mm, right? Having its surface inclined at 30 degrees to the HP. So the surface is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal plane. So any sort of inclination which is connected to HP or horizontal plane shall be denoted by theta. Moving further, and a side parallel to HP and inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the VP. Now there is one side which is actually inclined to vertical plane. So any sort of inclination in which is associated with VP shall be denoted by phi and this edge or you can call it a side also and this is inclination is having a magnitude of uh, let me check it once again 60 degree with the GP okay okay all these things have to be incorporated and must reflect in the problem we are going to solve okay let us start this and uh, for any problem on projection of planes always try to find out with which plane or with which principal plane, whether it is HP or VP, the surface of this object is making an angle. Okay, as far as this particular question is concerned, we know very well, surface is making an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal plane. So this, something like this. Okay, something like this. So what are we going to do? If the surface makes an angle, say, 30 degrees with the HP, what are we going to do? Make it zero or slam it or put it on the horizontal plane. So the true shape of this object will be evident in the top view. So I have to begin with top view. At the same time, there is one edge. Let us say this edge. This edge is actually making an angle of 60 degree. But as far as edge inclination is concerned, this has to be incorporated in step number 3. But initially, as far as basic or initial position is concerned, what we are going to do is, we have to take it perpendicular to x, y. I will show you how to, how to do this. And uh, right now, Students usually get into confusion as to what kind of a front view they are supposed to draw or sorry, what kind of a top view they are supposed to draw whether the pentagon is going to look like this look like this or whether the, the pentagon should be drawn like this This is a basic confusion which students usually go through in order to reduce this confusion or completely eliminate this confusion we have a funda which we call the step 3 step 1 connection whichever edge makes angle in step number 3, it has to be keep, kept perpendicular to x, y and in this figure you can clearly see that one edge is perpendicular to x, y and as far as this particular figure is concerned, none of the edges are actually perpendicular to x, y this is in fact parallel, ok so we are going to reject this and we are going to accept this ok, moving further let me rub this off and let us quickly start, get started by drawing uh, sorry, by drawing the top view. Now, one more thing which you, all of us have to be aware of. We have drawn this edge, okay. Now this edge over here and this edge over here at an angle of 180 degrees. So we have to be very careful when we take the angles, okay? Put a point. Okay. And put a point. Right? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna join this. I'm gonna join this. That's it. As far as this edge is concerned, that the edge is having a magnitude of 25 mm. This way, I use a doctor. has to be written at the center and just above this dimension line. Well, the dimensions have to be placed in such a way that it should be bottom read or right read. It should be able to be uh, read the dimensions from the bottom or from the right hand side of your drawing sheet. Right? Okay. Uh, now, these two lines which are drawn just now, I am going to ensure that these two lines are also 25 mm each. Here it goes. Here it goes. And the point over here will be 25 mm from both the sides. I am taking an arm. That's it. 
finished. Step number one is almost done. Let us name these five points by A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. Now, for drawing the front view, we have to look at this object from here for drawing the front view. Okay. As far as this point is concerned, we need to look at this object from the front view. This kept on the horizontal plane. Remember, uh, this point corresponds to two different points. First, you can observe B. And behind B lies A. Okay. As far as the C point is concerned, it is carefully. This passes through E, obviously. First, you will observe C, and behind C lies E. Finally, we have this D. Here, we have D. And that's it. We are finished. We are done. This, this, some zigzag line which you have seen. From the top is going to appear as a straight line in the front. Okay, so that's the front view. Now we are very much interested in uh, actually inclining this line. Uh, sorry, not inclining the line, but rather inclining the surface. And when we incline the surface, you will observe that these three points will go up in the air, whereas this particular edge, AB edge, will remain intact on the horizontal plane, or it will remain grounded. Okay. If it is, if it remains grounded, then you can say that it is parallel to H. Fine. Let us do this quickly. B dash comma A dash. Now let us see what angle does the surface make. This is how it is kept initially. Okay, so the surface is making an angle of 30 degrees. So initially, the, this line which you see right now, this is the line which you see. So the, when the surface makes angles of 30 degree with the horizontal plane, this line in fact will get inclined at an angle of 30 degree when you look at this from the front. Okay. So there is nothing much to do, rather you have to incline this angle, uh, this line at an angle of 30 degrees. So let us do this. Done and let us frame some points. D point that's D, and now we are on the lookout for point E or C. Here we have it. This over here, C dash, comma, E dash. This over here is point D. Now let us look at this from the top. Let us see how a pentagon looks like when it has been tilted or when its surface has been tilted at a certain angle, say 30 degrees. Okay. This is 30 degree angle. Right. Make sure whenever you draw these lines, you use a mini drafter. It's going to save a lot of time. What is left? Okay, point A and point B are still remaining. Let us draw these. And let us quickly finish this. A, A. So this one is point A. B, B. C, C. Similarly, you can mark T, E. Let us join all these points in proper sequence A, B, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, and finally back to A from E. Right? So, this is what our pentagon looks like when its surface is actually inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. Now, what we're going to do right now, if uh, you see this edge thing, okay, this edge. This edge over here. This is actually at an angle of 90 degrees right now. We actually kept it at an angle of 90 degrees because that's uh, that's a funda what we call it, right? And uh, this has to be inclined at an angle of 60 degrees. 
Right now it is at an angle of 90 degrees. We are going to rotate this and we are going to ensure that this edge over here is actually inclined at an angle of 60 degrees. And then we again going to draw for the front view accordingly. Let us see. Let us put a point. What is the angle? It is 60 degrees, somewhere here, approximately. So here we have it. This angle phi, and uh, let us put a point. A is here. From A to B, we're going to put mark this. A to B, this is B. Okay. Now, let us use an approach which we haven't used till now. Let us use the method of arcs. A to B. Let us put a arc. Now, to find E exactly, we need to take another arc from B. We've got point E. That's exactly where point E will lie. As far as point C is concerned, take another arc from B. From B. You need to put an arc in order to cut this arc, you have to take another point. The point could be either that point could be E, this point, or either that point could be A. We are taking an arc from A. Right. So this over here, this point C, this over here is point D. There is one more point which is there, that is point D. So point D from C we are taking and from E we are taking now again in order to intersect this up previously from so this over here is A, B, C. No, this is not D, this is E, and this one over here is. Okay, fine. Let us join them. Where is my point A? Let's see. Well, that's it. We have now successfully recreated the top view from step number 2 to step number 3. Now, we are look at this object from the front. Let us again draw this arrow. Okay. So there are going to be as many as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 vertical lines. Let us draw them one by one. Well, actually, the lines from B and E are very close to each other. And also, the lines drawn, vertical lines drawn from C and E are very pretty close to each other. And uh, horizontal lines are as well. But there is no need to draw a line from here, as it is going to overlap with X, Y, right? Hmm. Fine. A dash B. This is going to be B dash. This is C. 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 Dash D. This is D. And this is here. B dash. And finally, we have point E. Point E. And that's it. A to E, E to D, D to C, C to B, and B back to A. So then that's exactly what our pentagon is going to look like when you see this from the front. Let us have a quick recap, right? Initial position, okay? True shape, evident from the top, hence we drew the top view first, and then accordingly, this was the line which you saw in the front view, okay? This was slammed on a horizontal plane, that's why. Surface makes an angle theta. Okay, how much was theta? Uh, it was 30 degrees. Okay, so we drew the 
front view first, the slime first. And accordingly, there was a top view available to us. This way. This is the true shape of the true area. This is the reduced area so called. Because the more you increase the angle, the lesser the area. Right? And then finally, this. This one. This edge, right now, perpendicular to vertical plane. This edge. This edge. This one. Perpendicular to xy meaning perpendicular to the vertical plane. Now, what we did with this, we actually changed the inclination of the edge and we made it equal to 60 degrees. And previously it was 90 degrees. And right now, what has been done has been implied at an angle of 60 degrees. So you observe this. This is the front view. This is the front view. This is something which you observe. So that's it from my side. Thank you. And don't forget to hit the subscriber button. Thank you.